The opportunity came about to be involved with the Mark Hughes Foundation um, after living in Newcastle and getting to know Mark himself and Kira Lee just through footy and being around in the community and I've always wanted to help out where I can and um, being a part of such a great cause that is really close to my heart is something that's really um, special and I love being a part of it. Alongside 20 other amazing women we will be taking on the Kokoda Trail and we will be just walking every day from dusk till dawn. Obviously being outside of our comfort zone for many of us, but getting together and really connecting as a group is really important in times like these. And I really enjoy that team side of having a common goal and, and getting to the end together. The training that's involved varies quite a bit. We've been doing a lot of treks themselves, lots of hills, just getting out and getting lots of Ks and hours into the legs. But I'm still doing plenty of uh, footy training and running sessions as well. So pretty much maintaining your fitness and then building in that endurance as well. I haven't done anything to this magnitude before, but we did go to Tasmania last year and it was great to be a part of the first ever women's Mark Hughes Foundation trek. This is definitely a step up from that and everyone's been really hard into the gym and in training, so uh, it'll be good to see everyone's effort really pay off. On the trek last year, we all got to know each other really well and learn everyone's backgrounds and why we were all doing it. And everyone had a reason for being there, whether they had a connection to the Mark Hughes Foundation through losing a loved one to brain cancer, or they were brain cancer patients, they were brain cancer nurses, they were researchers, and everyone had a story to tell, which was really beautiful to be a part of. And I'm just lucky enough to be able to play my part, raise awareness for brain cancer research and, and the Mark Hughes Foundation.